Hi guys and welcome back. I'm running out of time so I'm going to go ahead and finish my ruffles later on. I wanted to show you here how to get the handle started. Now just like when we were marking to do our decreases we're going to be doing the same up at the top but <clears throat> instead of doing 9 we're going to be doing 15. So you count like always to get to, to get to 15 and then you do your mark marking the same mark your two stitches okay so this is where we're going to be putting our handles and also just to remind you the middle ruffle is going to be the same color as the bag. So use this color as the middle. And if you have a lighter color, then use it at the top. You don't have to. I mean, you can make them all the same color. It's entirely up to you. And also, with the handle, this is the only one that I made uh, that had three colors. Just because I was kind of getting low on uh, one of the colors. Um, the single crochet foundation stitch will count as one row and then the second row will be your first round of single crochets and then you can change colors if if you want to have three tones but for this bag I think I'm only going to do one tone I don't know so I'm gonna grab my my middle color here And starting from the right, I'm going to attach my color here where my marker is and slip stitch your color on. Then we're going to be doing the foundation, single crochet foundation stitch. And how to do that is you chain two, and then in this first stitch, we're going to pull up a loop, go through only one of the loops, then go through both of the loops. And then now we want to count down these two stitches on the side. One, two. We're going to be going down into this one. So put your hook through this one, pull up a loop, go through one, and then go through two. Again, this is the smaller, so you go into the lower, pull up a loop, pull through one. And that one I just pulled through one, that's the one you're going to be working in, which is essentially like you're making the chain. And when you pull through two, it's essentially like you're making the single crochet. So you're making the chain and the single crochet all at once. And it's the chain part you want to go through here. So you want to go through the lower stitch. So chain essentially by going through one. Then you pull through both. And this part here will be the one that you use again. And you can go through one or both. I just find it easier to go through one. And it doesn't seem to make much of a difference. So I'm only going to go through one of those loops here. And you go through one and go through two. If I start counting from the thicker stitch, this one is uh, like the first chain one essentially. But I start counting from here and I'll count to 55 of these single crochet foundation stitches. And we're, okay, I now have my 35 single foundation stitches and now making sure that it's straight and that everything's on the right side I'm going to go to my mark over here on the same side to the left and single crochet it on there then to the next stitch single crochet 
and continue to single crochet until you make it back to your stitch marker here. So just keep on single crochet until you get to here. Wait to my marker. And I'm in the marker slot here. And now again, you want to do your single single crochet foundation stitches. You want to make 55 of them. So again, start off by chaining two. Go into the first chain, pull up a loop, pull through one of the loops, and pull through two of the loops. And just continue to do this again until you have 55 single crochet foundation stitches. Got done with my 55 stitches, and now I'm going to single crochet that into my next marker here. So now I have the workings of my handles. And then you want to continue to single crochet around until you make it back up to your first handle. I'll just get over there real quick. My yarn won't stop pulling. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I'm up here. Okay. So now we want to lift up our handles, make sure that everything is fitting, I mean everything is straight because you don't want it to be crooked. And then in the first stitch <coughs> of our single crochet, let me get a little closer here. Okay. You don't need these uh, tags here anymore because your handles are there. Anyway, I'm going to go into this first one that we did single crochet and going into the next and single crochet and you want to work now single crochet along your handles and then when you get done with the handles you'll come down here like you did before single crochet all the way around till you get to your handle again and you'll single crochet around your handle and then back around to here so you get where we started from again and then you just start your second row, I mean your third row of your handle. And do that until you have six rows. So the single crochet foundation is one row, you're about to do your second. So do it for another three rows after this one. Or, sorry, four rows after this one. So finish this row, then do four more rows. You can change colors if you want, like I did the other bag, after this row. It's up to you, but you won't be working in the stitches here in between the handles. And uh, this is where I'll, I'll showed you before I'll be doing, I used to put my button here and I'll usually put loops, a loop here for my button. So do that and I will see you back here in a moment. A loop for your um, button. And I do this the same way for my, my flower purses that I made. What I do is I take a really long piece of string. I fold it in half just to give it double strength. So it'll be double thickness. And then leaving myself a tail to be worked into my bag. I'll grab up here form a slip knot. Then I'll find my middle my middle two um, stitches. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Okay, now these are my two middle stitches. And what I want to do is at least go down a couple. That way it'll have strength. This is an extra way of getting strength for your connection. This is also the reason why we use two, so that this connector will be strong. So what I do is I just slip stitch that, 
at least two rows down. So I, I want it here, but on this side. And you don't want it to be tight to where it pulls the bag. So try to make sure that it's a little looser than what I just did. So try to get in there and keeping my finger here, I'll hold it to prevent it from pulling too much. Then I'll tighten it. <coughs> And then I want to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now go into the next three rows down, three holes down. Grab it. Keep my finger here to keep it tighter. And slip stitch here. Now you want to chain one and just pull it on through. And you can tighten your connections on either side. And then with my tapestry needle, I'll work my strings through each side here. And then I'll pull it tight and then I'll cut my yarn. And that's it. I'll put it like this and I'll line it up with my loop, then put my button here, and that's it. That's how I do my, my connections. Same way with the flower bag, in case no one was wondering. So that's it. Thanks for watching the tutorial for the ruffle bag. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and share and please subscribe. And stay tuned to uh, my tutorials because I plan on making to show you guys how to make the little ruffle cell phone holder that you can attach to the bag. Thanks for watching.